This beautifully restored Super Sentinel lightweight steam wagon has recently had a boiler rebuild. After the boiler rebuild, the boiler must be inspected and pressure tested by a qualified boiler inspector. We are going to carry out our own hydraulic pressure test before the boiler inspector comes. This is Richard, as usual, getting very wet and very dirty. To carry out the pressure test, all the fittings are removed from the boiler, blank and plugs are fitted in place. The boiler is then completely filled with water and pumped up with more water until the pressure increases. The boiler is tested to one and a half times its safe working pressure. The boiler runs at 255 psi. This is Scott from True Precision Engineering. Scott's busy programming his CNC lathe to produce a curve on the big slug of steel that's mounted into the chuck. This is going to be used as a former to have a new ash pan spoon to go on the bottom of Richard's boiler on his central steam wagon. It's nice to see new technology being used to help old technology keep going. It's certainly nice seeing things go back together again. He has Richard Bolt and the horn plates on. These support the engine and gearbox under the frame.
This stainless steel exhaust pipe was bent by Advanced Automotive Systems. What I'm going to do here is tack it into the flanges. It'll then be taken back to their workshops and TIG welded together properly. That wasn't B, by the way. It's just a little one, no. That's B, the silent but deadly. Uh, my first wagon was super. When I was doing this, took the, the bridge off. I sort of hit the brain, uh, the mud old door right. with a blunt instrument. And the bleeding shot in the bottom and dropped down inside. <laughs> and it was marvellous. <laughs> so I thought, what the hell, the fire box is coming in anyway, so. Yes. I've got one here. It's got a just of a spanner. Uh, Put the bridge on backwards so it can't get lost down the hall. Ah, right. Really. Like that. I was got in there, had not cut had the bridge up. Now just twiddle it around. It's gasket like it's not so bad. No, I'll put a new one up. Ripped out the gasket sides. We've got that off inside there. Let's have a little lucky. Can you see the fusible plug? Uh, I can't see much of it. Oh, yeah. Can you see the lead insert in the middle? Yeah. Can you see how it's dished? Yes. So it's been hot and it's started to push it's it up? It's started to push, yeah. yeah. So what that is, it's a plug that goes from the water side of the boiler into the firebox. That's correct. And the plug's filled with lead. If the water level gets too low, the lead melts and the steam and water blows into the fire to and put puts the fire out. It's a built-in safety device on all commercial steam boilers like this. I'll go and get a new one and you'll see what the difference is. Yeah. It likes shrieking glass, doesn't it? What? Glass always makes that horrible shrieking noise. Yeah. Should we put him in the copper slip? It's getting tortured. So that, that plug's not far below the bottom of the, bottom of the water gauge, is it? So once you lost your one out of the gauge, it's gonna 
Which it has been many times. Aye. Nice of rulers. And there we are, here's the proof. It's been crossed. Put the tool on the floor. We we'll start to push the head out, see it? Oh, aye. I'm going to get that. Aye, yep. Yeah. Yeah. There's a good chance that there's maybe there's no threads in there, it should have threads in there, but... Of course it's going to push it, the pressure's on this side. That's right. So it's going to go that way, which it has. Yes. Right. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Is there a new one there, John? Yeah, you can see the new one, all the lead's flush with the... The lead's flush with the end where it's been machined off. And that's come out. Mind you, if you look Six, at sixteen of an inch, aren't we? If you look at the thread, see what's been tightening up inside the bottle on the firebox shell. Uh -huh. There's a, at least an inch and a half sticking into the fire side, so that'll be getting red hot. That so should, that, uh, it shouldn't be. Yeah. yeah. So it should be like that. You know, right. so that, that one's really too long. Yeah. There's another one there, an original one. See that one? How that one's deteriorated as well. Yeah. It's all the signs of it's been low in water. You know. It doesn't going to be empty of water, it's just that it gets too low and the temperature rises and it's just a high steam pressure in these. Blows it out. Blows it out. Puts the fire out. Puts the fire out. Mm -hmm. Simple. But effective. Effective. Can't go wrong, isn't it? About to go flat, is it? No. Feel safe. Excellent. The cores I'm going to use today are made from fine sand. It's actually silica sand, the stuff you use for block paving mixed with a chemical called water glass sodium silicate. This goes off when it's introduced to carbon dioxide. And all we do gently pack the sand and the corn wool. You mustn't get it too tight because it's going to be able to collapse when the custom is poured. We'll put a hole down the centre which helps the gas to circulate around it, through it. It also helps the core to collapse when it's in the mould. Right. Into a plastic bag. CO2 from an old fire well, source actually. Gently. It doesn't take long to set the, make the stuff go hard. Ideally you're doing the CO2 through the hole in the centre of the core but I haven't got a decent regulator. I'm doing two castings, I've got two cores, I'll make another one because you always break one.
있죠. Aston looks quite decent on the outside. When you look at the port face, that's a flat bit. You can see there's a small black blue hole. That's that hole there. That tells the whole story. Inside of there will be hollow. What's happened is the gate, that's where the metal runs into the casting, that's froze off before the metal had cooled in the actual cylinder itself. As it cools, it shrinks. And with the gate being frozen up, it had nowhere to pull metal in from. We'll have to do it again. Twat. Ah, <laughs> ah. Uh, uh, uh. Right, it's boring me fucking on. You can see what it's boring us. Right. <laughs> 